What's happening YouTube? Lockdown engine bay makeover part two. I mentioned what this was going to be in the last video. I also mentioned how long I've been putting it off for. It's cam cover time. <laughs> what we've got for it is the VHT wrinkle plus paint in red. I've been putting it off because of all this, all this in here. I weren't sure how I was going to get it off. So far I've, I've had a go on it with a wire wheel which has brought this up but obviously the wire wheel's not getting in there. So I was brainstorming for a while how I was going to do it and then it just came to me. Paint stripper. Just use paint stripper. So I got some paint stripper. Yesterday I had a play around and I did a test with this piece. Used the paint stripper on it, it got most of it off, cleaned it up as much as I could and then I had a go with the wrinkle plus paint. I had a feeling it was going to be quite temperamental so I just wanted to have a go with it first before I started. And it came out all right to be fair. You can see some bits where the paint like built up. I don't think the actual shape of this helped me out much. If I did learn anything from doing that, it'd be that I might have put it on a bit too thick and I didn't wait long enough in between coats, although I did do the five minutes that it says on the can in between coats, but yeah, I don't know if it's just because it were such a small concentrated area or what, but today with the cam cover, I'm going to not be as liberal with each coat and I'm just going to wait that little bit longer in between the coats. So we're going to start off with the paint stripper. It's nothing special, all purpose paint and varnish stripper. It's paint we need to strip, so that's what we need. Say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. Say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. So it's all got a nice thick coat on, all in the middle is all nice and lubed up. You can already see it all starting to bubble. So I've really, really, really laid it on thick for the second coat, just to give it the best possible chance of getting it all off getting it out of the way to give us the best possible chance of having a decent finish with this red because I only really want to do it once <laughs> if I'm being honest so leave that to do its thing though I'll have another break there's one thing I like it's a good break this is what we're looking at hopefully it's all just gonna flake off I'm gonna give it a quick agitation with a brush and then give it a good jet wash and hopefully get rid of most of it <laughs> Jet wash, done. Pretty much done the trick. That's just a bit of marking where the paint was. There's no actual paint there. I'm gonna let it all dry off there in the sun. Then I've got some uh, degreaser stuff. I'm gonna spray it all with that. Let that do its thing. Wash that off, let it dry again. And then we'll get to some, get to some good, good painting. That is far too much fun. that's not clean enough then I guess I'm just gonna have to live with a shitty painted can cover because now time for my favorite part of any painting job the masking so I stopped the time-lapse there because I thought right I'm done masking I was looking at it, and I was just thinking about the lettering. I decided what I want to do here, because I don't want it to just all be red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little get a little pipette, and I'm just going to like squeeze in, squeeze in white paint, so all the lettering's white. But then I thought, if I'm wrinkle painting, then doing that, because it's not very deep, so doing that might be difficult on top of wrinkle paint. So... <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Them five letters just took me about 20 minutes to mask up with the Stanley blade in there and that's so what now I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and a half. Eleven and a half more letters to do like that. I swear this better look good when it's done. Say what you want, say what you want, say what you want. Say what you want, say what you want. <sighs> Finally done. Now with this VHT paint, there is a, a specific way to do it and a specific order to do it and I don't have the best luck with painting things really, I'm surprised at how well the fucking engine bay went. So I'm going to try and stick to what it says, take my time, well, now or never. I'll leave it at that for the first coat. I don't want to push my look. Some areas where it's a bit lighter than others, but like I say, I don't want to push my look and ruin it. So I'll fast forward five minutes. Second coat done. And it's a good job because that paint can start to feel a little bit light. Let's hope there's enough in it to get coat three done. Fast forward. I'm going to leave it at that. It looks relatively even. We're just going to have to see how it starts to starts to dry and hopefully starts to wrinkle. It says on the can it takes about two hours to start wrinkling. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I might get impatient and uh, bang a hair dryer on it. We'll come back in a bit and see how it looks. Boys. Boys. I'm impressed. Oh, boy actually well happy with that actually can't believe how well it's turned out it's turned out that well that it's made my test piece from yesterday look like an absolute shambles so that just proves that i definitely laid it on too thick on the little piece that i did yesterday so i'm gonna have to come up with a plan to do that because i'm no more red left and i'm not buying another can just just to do that little bit so it might just be going black i do have black wrinkle but i don't think i want to try wrinkle on it again because it'll probably do the same thing so it might just go straight black Losing sunlight, I'm losing sunlight. I've been out here all day, can you believe that? Just to do this, although it's worth it, because it looks absolutely sick. Oh. <laughs> Mate! It's the next day. Well, the cover's had plenty of time to dry now. Ooh. How good does that look? Be honest, be honest. Look good that. As you can see, it's all wrinkled up quite nicely. It's not too too aggressive although because of how much it has wrinkled it does mean that me masking all these letters up for about a quarter of my life was not really worth doing i've got the lettering to do and then we're going to get it thrown back in the car and see what it, i can't wait i cannot wait to see what it looks like it's going to be so sick all black bay red cam oh. i'm gonna crack this bad boy open Oh yeah, right off the bat. One thing I'm worried about is this paint not being thin enough. But upon opening, it looks like it might be all right. Just have a do, eh? Well, I don't have the uh, steadiest of hands, which is probably gonna make this more difficult. Here we go. Oh, I'm scared. Right, okay. Um, I'm gonna get me a damp rag. Eat. Um, is that gonna, is that gonna work? Nope. Breaking out the cocktail stick. I'll try and be better, a bit more painting. Wipe that off, because that's what I didn't do the first time, which mugged me off. Slowly. Yes. Yes. No. no. 
this 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 is this is quite difficult. Well, we'll carry on now, aren't we? Bubbles, man. Well, letter number two looks a lot better than letter number one. I'm just going to bring you back when this is done because this is going to be quite a lengthy, lengthy process. Well, that was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if I'm happy or not. So a lot of it doesn't look too bad, but then when you get a bit closer, ah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Basically, the syringe kept getting air bubbles in it, so you'd squeeze in the paint out and it'd just pop and just put it everywhere. And then the other thing was, when the paint was falling in, if it had touched the sides, it was like a fucking magnet. I don't know if it's because this wrinkled paint's like grippy, if you'd say. So it just it just gunned for the edge and just went over the top. <sighs> well, there's nothing I can do now. I'm not fucking doing it again. Crisis somewhat averted, thanks to mother of all people, she suggested to get a little, little cotton bud. What are we doing? Spraying a bit of the paint that I had left on there. A little bit little bit of paint on. And just, just like pointing the tip and then using that to then just dab up. It is looking a lot better now. I was fuming YouTube. I was bloody fuming. I might give that another go with the old cotton bud trick once it's fully dried because I'm a bit scared of the red bleeding into the white so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk away before I get mad overdo it and ruin it properly so leave it at that for now There she is, sat in. I am well impressed with that, that looks so good. I won't waste your time and make you watch me bolting everything back up. Obviously the hoses for the catch can do need trimming. That one goes on there like that. And then that one goes in there like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm well impressed. Definitely uh, made the right choice with the white lettering. I think it looks well good in there. I decided to leave this as well. It's not going to look horrendous when it's in. Well, it is in and it doesn't look horrendous. If it pisses me off in future, I can always take that piece off and just repaint it. But for now, I'm happy with that. So that's going to be it for this one. If you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.